The United Nations has launched an investigation into the reported slaughter of Kurdish civilians by al-Qaeda affiliated groups in Syria. It's according to a comment made by the UN to Assad RT. Maybe up to 450 Kurds, most of them women and children, were allegedly killed in the northeast of the country. Artis Irina Gulushka brings you what we know. According to various reports, at least 450 people have been killed by the Al-Nusra Front in northeastern Syria. Reports say that at least 120 of those are children. Now, we have requested information from the United Nations uh, in regard to the situation. We have received their response. According to the United Nations, they, their team is in the region investigating these reports, which haven't been uh, confirmed as of yet. And should this, in fact, be confirmed to be true, then the United Nations are saying that this amounts to a war crime and that probably should uh, provide some sort of stimulation to the international community to act quicker when it comes to Syria and the situation which seems to be spiraling out of control. And that is exactly what Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said when he urged the international community to come together and solve the situation in Syria. We were shocked by the reports of around 450 Kurds massacred in the north of Syria, including children, just because their men were fighting against al-Nusra. And it's not the first such report. I hope the UN Security Council will condemn all these terrorist acts. We've seen some of its members refusing to condemn terrorist attacks in Syria, justifying it with the fact that the people behind them are fighting against the outdated regime. This stance is totally unacceptable. Terrorism should be treated without double standards. In fact, we have spoken to a number of uh, a number of people whose relatives are in the region, and they have described carnage in horrifying detail. Let's have a listen. The Al Nusra militants and other rebel forces surrounded the village. They started going from door to door, entering every house. If there were any men, they killed them and took women and children hostage. The rebels came into the house of my cousin. He was at home, so they murdered him took the women and children and blew the house up. One of the reasons why people are saying that Kurds come under such harsh attacks from the Al-Nusra uh, Front and, the, and groups such as the Al-Nusra Front is because they have been uh, quite successful in pushing the extremists out of this region where, unfortunately, Al-Qaeda is also dreaming of establishing its own state, waiting for Syria to essentially disintegrate. And also Kurds are saying that they are not, if, even if they're not trying to pursue the dream of their own statehood, they at least would love to live in the country, in the state, and in the region where peace would prevail. So definitely the situation, it doesn't seem to get any better, only seems to get worse. And of course, uh, there has been encouragement from Russia to, for the international community to pay closer attention and step up peaceful efforts in the region. Henry Galushka reporting on this story for us. Well, the ongoing civil wars created deep splits within the country, raising concerns over whether Syria can ever be pieced back together again after so much of what's gone on there. Let's see how it pans out on the map, shall we? The um, Syrian government's keeping its grip on a large area in the country south. You're seeing that in yellow there, which is the heartland of President Assad's minority Alawite sect. Meantime, the rebels, most of them from the Shia Muslim majority are in control of a large swathe of uh, northern provinces, that's in the, the Mauve there, stretching from the Iraq border in the east. And there are many al-Qaeda affiliated groups among the ranks of the opposition, with uh, Syria's Kurdish minority scattered among the country's northern border, as you can see there in the uh, uh, pink. Most of their um, enclaves have become targets of deadly attacks and mass kidnappings by al-Qaeda linked fighters, uh, who Kurds claim are trying to carry out ethnic cleansing. This all comes amid reports too of an independent and Al-Qaeda state about to be declared in northern Syria, as you can see in the black there. I spoke to a German journalist Karin Lukerfeld, who says the Kurds are being punished for not taking sides in the conflict. It's uh, definitely an attack against the Kurds, against Kurdish civilians, and uh, they have been taking a very different position within this uh, war inside Syria. They did not want to enter either side of the fighting. Uh, they try to stay outside. Uh, there are definitely groups from the Free Syrian Army and Islamist fighters who are pushing the Kurds to fight uh, because the Kurds are not joining their uh, side of the war. So um, behind these groups, as we know, are Turkey and I think the Turks are trying to um, push the, Turk, uh, the Kurds also into the fighting because uh, Turkey is very worried about the strength of the Kurdish movement inside the uh, Syrian territory and uh, they want to provoke them maybe. They are sorting these armed groups attacking the Kurdish groups.